former Florida Governor Jeb Bush is now officially in the race for the White House. He made the big announcement today in Miami, joining 10 other Republicans already fighting for the party's nomination. So here's what it comes down to. Our country's on a very bad course. And the question is, what are we going to do about it? The question for me, the question for me is, what am I going to do about it? And I've decided I'm a candidate for president of the United States of America. If elected, the Bush family will become the only American family to have three of their own elected to the highest office in the land. A national CNN poll released earlier this month found Jeb Bush virtually tied at the top of the GOP field with Florida Senator Marco Rubio. So back in the newsroom, we lost track of how many names are on this list now, but it just keeps getting longer and longer for the Republicans. Yes, and joining us now to weigh in on Bush's White House bid is KUSI contributor and 1170 AM radio host Mark Larson. Good to see you. Nice to be back. All right, so how is he going to separate himself, distinguish himself from oh, the other that. dozen yeah. candidates? Yeah. Well, there's not quite a dozen yet, but you know who's out there looming? Maybe as early as Donald, Trump. Donald Trump. 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 I mean, he's going to say, oh, by the way, I'm worth, here's my disclosure, $9 billion. Kind of tough to say I'm caring about the little people, but he does employ <laughs> a lot of people. Um, Jeb Bush certainly is a force to be reckoned with. He has the, the best mm -hmm. advantage in terms of the Bush family machine, and I don't mean that in the old you know, Chicago Daily Machine, but they do have a fundraising apparatus. He's also been raising a ton of money out of the chute when he was considering and exploring this with that super PAC. But now rubber meets the road time because now there's 11 and counting in terms of number of, uh, of candidates. I don't think he counted at all on Marco Rubio having the strength that he has right now. I was with Marco Rubio last Thursday in kind of a small group setting, and, and he certainly has traction, and he sharpened his message, which is interesting. Is and and he was mentored by Bush. Is well, the, yeah. Well, it, it, it's going to be. Some people a, say it's a negative. You can tell by his logo, yeah. which is Jeb, Jeb. Exclamation point. Mm -hmm. uh, now, then, of course, late night comedians will do what they did <laughs> to Mitt because these are not the names you hear yeah. every day. Uh, but, right. but, but still, he was the. What you're seeing is, and who you're seeing is the Bush that the Bush family thought would be president first. Mm -hmm. They figured that he would he would take that on, and then George W. kind of threw that for. Now, this a third loop. Bush has said publicly that he really has to differentiate himself from uh, W. Uh, in order. To, to, to win this thing. How's he going to do that? Yeah. Well, he's tried to do that so far. He's had some awkward interviews at times with that. He's had to... Uh, uh, here's the challenge for any Republican. They're going to have to avoid having to play defense because, first of all, the general national mainstream media is going to force them to do that all the time. They give the other side traditionally more of a pass. Uh, facts are facts. Clinton, as in Hillary Clinton and Bush, ought to both be having to defend the same issue, this legacy politics. Uh, and and, and whether it's just due. Uh, Jeb Bush had a line today. He said that uh, uh, we are we or we don't need another president in the pampered elites in Washington or handing along. We don't need another president uh, that just passing the baton liberal to liberal. That conveniently leaves out the conservative side where the baton is being passed. Mm -hmm. So a lot of work to do. And and again, I think the candidate who steps up, who is likely a governor, although that's not always the case, but has executive experience, that can actually take that message and be optimistic as opposed to pessimistic because that's one thing he did today he did a lot of contrast about i see you know people see problems i see opportunity that's a good message so we saw Rand paul in the race we know what he's about we yeah. saw mike huckabee in the race we certainly yeah. know what he's about yeah. and if we see donald trump tomorrow we're going to know what he's about but jeb bush seems to be one of those candidates that at least now is trying to be everything to everybody he's trying to be conservative yeah. and understanding talking about the kids talking, talking about, about education kids, and immigration talk. and cuba and, and all he hasn't things. been in office for eight years, so that's going to be a challenge because yes. this is a whole new game. You can't fight so in the campaign like 2008. Well, he's a successful governor from Florida, there if you, you get go. right down and to what it. what about now, his record that's what he's Florida. using. Yeah. Well, his record has been strong, uh, not always the most conservative. He does have a problem on this education issue with Common Core mm -hmm. because he embraced it back in 2011. So today he's talking about the kids and we're doing wonderful things for education. That may be hanging around his neck like a uh, educational mm -hmm. albatross. One thing that he did say today that, that worked well in terms of positioning this whole issue of Bush, as in Bush 43 and Iraq and so forth, he referred to the Obama Clinton Kerry team unraveling things in the Middle East and leaving us undefended and, and all of that. That may stick. 
because she was there at that particular party as in uh, Hillary. So It's interesting that President Obama really uh, embraced uh, the young people when in his first uh, uh, run as president. And I thought it was interesting today that Jeb Bush uh, kind of jumped on the technology bandwagon, announcing his yeah. candidacy uh, through Snapchat, which there anybody who has a teenager knows what, <laughs> knows that, what that is. That is. <laughs> is that the one that erases the messages yes. afterwards? Right? Like oh, that's convenient. And, yeah. That's where all politicians want to be. I said yeah. something quick. Get well, I think Hillary did that, too, with that's, her uh, emails, right. didn't she? <laughs> well, it was interesting. Hillary's whole speech is a whole different yes. I, yeah, I she was. I, she made a big splash over the weekend. Well, she made a splash. <laughs> well, she yeah. did. And a lot of, I, I would love to see, just in my fantasy of fantasies, and it's not going to happen, but Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders go at it in just one debate. I think that that would be What do you think of Donald Trump entering the race? Donald yeah. Trump knows how to promote Donald Trump. Is he a smart businessman? Yes. Does he employ a lot of people? Yes. Is he going to get elected president? No. no. But, is he but interesting is he television? Bring, sure. Is he, he going to bring anything good to the campaign? Well, Will he, he bring a conversation? He we're not worry about being PC. That's one that's, thing. Yeah. And that's that's Carly Fiorina's role right now, is whether she has any traction or ends up in a number two spot, or hey, never say never. People come out and be, be number one, but to have the guts to say, I don't care how this looks on TV, I'm going to say it and say it consistently. I like that. Yeah. And, well, that's kind of refreshing, isn't it? Mm, it As is refreshing. To, because between today with Bush and then Saturday with Clinton, there was a lot of, oh, here come the platitudes. I mean, yes. you can make it, I see the music's exactly. coming up, it's the same kind of thing. It's People gray go, noise okay, after a while. Right. Mm -hmm. So we will see, but it's getting more crowded. And the advantage, really, because of the crowd, is that the Democrats have a chance. There's only a handful of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, watch Jim Webb, the former senator out of Virginia, too, because he seems like a little more reasonable sure. if, if Hillary goes sideways. And it's not going to be Bernie Sanders, but you never know. Mark Who just Larson? wants with Trump. That's all I'd like to say. Good day tomorrow. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Still ahead for us on the KUSI News at 5, one witness.